Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll show you how I captured the total lunar eclipse using a 10-inch Newtonian and also smart telescopes like the DOR-3. Uh, it was a very difficult uh, day because my mini PC died a few days ago and until I got the SSD card I ended up installing the Windows and all the software uh, today. Because of that it was very difficult to get ready in time. However, I managed to do it, but clouds came when the eclipse started. So unfortunately, I managed to capture only the last part of the uh, total lunar eclipse. But I was really, really happy that I was able to do this and I'll be able to show you the results with my 10 inch Newtonian on the total lunar eclipse of 2025 and also with sm smart telescope like the DOR-3 and we'll be able to see the differences. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go on the computer and I want to show the results that I obtained with these setups on the total lunar eclipse. So what happened? Everything seemed fine where I was out and capturing the total lunar eclipse with both setups. However, after downloading the data, I've noticed that the results with the 10 inch Newtonian and expensive 10K setup were not good. So my video time-lapse failed with the Newtonian telescope and let me show you uh, the time-lapse first. Here it is. We can see the moon a little bit, then it's blurry and it also moves across, it drifts. So the problem was tracking stopped a few times and this resulted in a bad video time-lapse. So you can see the time-lapse video failed and why this happened. It seems Windows Windows 11 has a very bad setting that is on default when you install Windows that uh, makes your uh, PC go to sleep after 15 minutes if you're not using it. So my mini PC went in sleep mode a few times and the uh, tracking stopped, unfortunately. I was able to capture the images, but the time lapse did not look good at the end. So this is why a smart telescope like this is a must have for backup in um, rare astronomy events like this one. So having the Dwarf 3 on, I was able to get a beautiful time lapse with the total lunar eclipse. And let me show you now the video. And here we have the lunar eclipse with Dwarf 3, a time lapse video. And we can see even with clouds, Dwarf 3 was able to track and recenter the moon and I was able to capture the lunar eclipse without having any problems. We are now in Adobe Photoshop and we'll compare the results that I was able to capture with the two telescopes, the 10,000 rig and the affordable door 3 that cost around 550 US dollars. We have here a live stack captured with the door 3 smart telescope of the lunar eclipse. And if we disable this layer, we'll see the image captured with the Newtonian telescope, also a live stack of the moon, but after the eclipse ended, because when I started with the Newtonian was a little bit later, after starting with the Dwarf 3. And another advantage for a smart telescope like the Dwarf 3 is that setup is much easier and faster than with an um, expensive rig. Especially when trying to find the moon or planets, it can take longer to find them with a 10 inch Newtonian and high focal length than uh, using the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Now, to be able to make this comparison uh, more accurate, I combined the Dwarf 3 image with the 10 inch Newtonian. I place it on top and use only the color of the moon from the Dwarf 3 image and kept the details from the 10 inch Newtonian. So let's see what will be the difference. Uh, if we do not zoom in, there is a visible difference on the details, but not so much like we would uh, zoom in 100%. And zooming in more at 100% and checking some craters here. We can see a lot of details in the 10 inch Newtonian. We have here another one that uh, is a little bit darker and even more details in, in the highlights are visible. Now getting back this image and enabling the DOS 3 live stack, we can see at this level of zoom, the image looks blurry. We also resize it, so uh, it will be the same size with the 
10 inch Newtonian live stack. So let's move a little bit also in the other area. Here, 10 inch Newtonian and door 3. Let's go also lower. I think this is Copernicus crater. And look, 10 inch Newtonian, door 3. So you can see that in the door 3 image, especially when we're zooming in, we cannot see the same details. And this is normal because a 10 inch telescope has much larger aperture is capable of resolving much more details and we have also a longer focal length we have uh, 1000 millimeters compared with 150 millimeters and now let's check the second test this is another live stack capture with the door 3 and we have a single image capture with the 10 inch newtonian and also the door 3 image is resized so we disable the layer and this is the 10 inch newtonian image a single exposure so let's uh, compare again, door 3, my 10 inch Newtonian. You can see there are not so much difference visible if you are not zooming in. If you are zooming in, let's say 100%, go here at this part of the moon where we see multiple craters. This is the 10 inch Newtonian and you can see how well the details are visible. And now we enable the door 3 live stack. And still a lot of details there but it's uh, they are blurred zooming in more here we can see better the differences so we'll go back to the 10 inch see how much more details the 10 inch telescope reveals compared with a small telescope doesn't matter if it's a smart telescope or a normal uh, telescope that you can observe through it so door 3 the 10 inch door 3, the 10 inch. There is a noticeable difference in the details that you can get with a 10 inch, 10 inch telescope and an expensive astrophotography uh, rig. However, if something fails, like the mini PC died a few days before, until I got a new SSD drive, install Windows, the software, I didn't have time to verify everything. So uh, because of this, my mini PC shut it down a few times, I lost tracking, and I felt capturing the lunar eclipse. But I was saved by the Dorsey Smart Telescope that allowed me to capture this wonderful astronomical event. This is why having a Dorsey Smart Telescope for such, of, such astronomy events is a must. Especially if you want to travel, it will be very easy to take it with you, and you don't have to put the extra time and effort uh, taking with you a very large telescope. If you want to support the channel more, you like the content, don't forget to hit the join button, become a member, and you'll also get access to my astrophotography data. By the way, affiliate links with the DOS 3 and uh, the 10 inch Newtonian are available in the video description. Make sure you'll check them out. So these were the results that I obtained with these two telescopes. DOS 3 saved the day and I was able to make also a time-lapse video of the total lunar eclipse. Please let me know in the comments what you think about uh, this comparison and if you'll uh, get also a Dorsey Smart Telescope, at least as backup if you are uh, capturing a lunar or solar eclipse. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. I want to give thanks to all the channel members that supported the channel so far. It means a lot your support. I wish you all clear sky.